There may be some confusion on the announcement of that contribution increase at the National Insurance Board set for this summer. While NIB Minister the Honorable Alfred Sayers indicated that the rate increase will occur every two years, Prime Minister the Honorable Philip Davis disclosed in his statement overnight that a decision has yet to be made beyond the initial 1.5% announced to commence on July 1st. 2024. Haldabee's Munnings joins us live in studio tonight with the Prime Minister's clarification on the matter. Good evening, Altabees. Good evening, Jim Anita, and good evening, Bahamas. Prime Minister the Honorable Philip Davis making it very clear that there is no conflict regarding the contribution increases at the National Insurance Board that's expected to begin on July 1st. He quoted to our news team today the NIB actuarial report recommending those increased contribution rates. It started from 2001, that, where they recommend, where they saw that the need will arise in the, in the not too distant future, and then in 2006, they ha they then upgraded that need to a reality, and then in 2000 and. 2000, that's 2006 and 2011, they made recommendations for increases. In 2018, they then made specific um, recommendations and lately in 2008, 2018. Now the report has not been rejected. Prime Minister Davis though outlines his government's position. We need to find efficiencies. We need to look at, at how we could improve the the cost effectiveness of national insurance so as not to put any further burden on our people. And in the context of the times, Prime Minister Davis determined the government's position in 2023. In regard to the state of national insurance, we indicated that we will look at, we gave sufficient notice, one year notice, that beginning July, come July 2024, we'll put a 1.5 percent increase in in on increase in contributions now the recommendation has been that every two years we should do the same thing that was adopted by the board on, on recommendation of the actuary and here's the next step for government regarding nib operations government has to decide whether we will do that we um the board has had been over the last year to come up with initiatives to to um, to streamline operations related to costs, to look at how they would re realign their assets to get further better revenues, to look at collection efforts, to determine how those what those initiatives will yield. We are we will await to see how those initiatives would would be the outcome of those initiatives to determine whether or not there's a need to further increase in the further in the years to come. As for now, here's the Prime Minister's word regarding NIB contribution increases. There'll be no there's no commitment to any further increases until we are able to see the outcomes of the new initiatives that the board say that they'll be putting in place to bring some efficiencies and, and cost savings to the operations of NIB. And that's my position. The Prime Minister assures residents across the country that his government's aware of the burdens of the high cost of living made worse by a global inflation crisis and policy decisions will continue to reflect consideration of what is in the best interest of the Bahamian people. Reporting live in studio for the Bahamas tonight, I'm Altavis Munnings. Back to you, Jim Anita. In case you missed the news or want to stay ahead, subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on X, TikTok, Instagram, or Facebook.